Jersey rankings for the 2019 Rugby World Cup. I've had a look through the jerseys. Uh, we're at that point in the tournament now where we've seen most of the jerseys in action. Uh, sometimes you get a look at them on the field and it looks a fair bit different from the, the promo pictures. So I've gone ahead and ranked the, the jerseys for my personal preference. It is just that personal preference. You might as well be asking me what's your list of favorite colors. This is, there seems to be themes with that, but um, yeah, definitely no no design analysis. This is just which jerseys do I like and the order I like them. So start with the bottom and work our way to the top. Uh, 20, I have put uh, Russia. Russia have a, a blue uh, away jersey and a red home one. It's got kind of a little cross checks pattern across the, uh, across the chest. And when I see it, it just gives me a slight reminder of like a Christmas sweater that was knitted by your aunt or your grandma. So uh, for whatever reason, it's just not really my cup of tea. It's not that bad. But um, yeah, I've, I've seen some previous Russian jerseys in the past, which I thought were maybe a bit simpler. I preferred them. Uh, I should say the one nice thing I think a lot of people appreciate with Rugby World Cup jerseys is that they don't have sponsors on them. They generally just have the team logo, the manufacturer and Rugby World Cup on there. So I think that's one thing, um, yeah, to keep them kind of simple. Uh, next, and I've put 18 and 19 together, so kind of uh, 18th equal, I've put uh, Namibia and Tonga. Essentially, it's the same jersey design, same manufacturer, just one's red, one's blue. Both of their away jerseys are white. It's kind of plain with some shiny stripy bits. Uh, it's kind of hard as well because there's not that much you can do with with your national team jersey. It's not like a club jersey where you can kind of really reinvent the wheel. You've got a very basic color set that you're trying to trying to rework. And if you're looking at home jerseys, you got six teams that are blue, four teams that are red, plus Georgia who are kind of a maroon, three teams that are white, and then a few teams who've kind of got unique colors. So there's not that much they could do with it, but just not that fussed about the Tonga or, or the Namibia jerseys. Namibia, though, does have one of the coolest rugby logos among all the teams with that eagle. So very cool. Uh, next, 17, I have put South Africa. They've gone for a lighter green uh, compared to what we're used to seeing. Uh, but I can't, I can't have the Springbok on the sleeve, man. Uh, I'm too used to having the Springbok on, on the chest. I know that is just the space thing because they have to have the Rugby World Cup thing. They have to have the national kind of emblem. So the Springbok gets relegated to the sleeve. They are the Springboks. So that, um, yeah, it just doesn't sit that well with me. But that's just a personal preference. And the white collar, again, the away jersey is white, which probably doesn't look as jarring. But um, yeah, I preferred the previous Springbok jersey, but that is just me. If they are a World Cup winning jersey, then they'll sell out of them for sure, and I might even buy one. Uh, next, and it's another green one, Ireland in 16. It's made by Canterbury. It's a plain green jersey. Again, what else can you do with it? I mean, sometimes if you do too much, you end up making it look ridiculous. So they've kept it simple. It's it's a classic Irish design. It's got a little bit of white stripy bits on it. Um, the away jersey is a bit meh. Uh, but overall it's fine. It's just, uh, nothing really all that startling. Um, doesn't really hit you as that outstanding, but it doesn't hit you as particularly ugly either. Uh, next 15, and this one will definitely divide opinion. A lot of people will disagree. Uh, I've put Japan. I know a lot of people rate this really highly. They, they do love this design. I'm just not that keen on the angled stripes. I'm kind of a traditional go with your hoops uh, jersey. I own a Japan jersey, which is just the standard hoops. I like Argentina's hoops. Rugby jerseys with hoops, it's a thing. Uh, a lot of the Mitre 10 Cup jerseys here in New Zealand, they're all hoops, a lot of them. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't get the angular thing. Although on closer inspection, when you do see the close-up shots of the jersey, there's all kinds of intricate stuff going on in the patterns. So I do appreciate that. It probably bumps it up a little bit higher than it would have been because initially when I first saw it, I was uh, was definitely not a fan, but it is growing on me. And seeing as they've beaten Ireland in that jersey, it's probably growing on a lot of us too. Um, the away jersey is kind of a dark blue, which I think I kind of prefer to the, um, to the home one. But uh, yeah, that's just me. I've put Japan uh, at 15. 14, I've gone with the US. Again, they've they've kind of kept it simple. They've got an eagle as well, which is pretty cool, but maybe not as cool as the Namibian eagle. 
Uh, it's white. There's dark blue shoulders. It's got stars on the shoulders, which is nice. Uh, I prefer the away jersey with the dark blue. Um, there's a few teams with white, like England wears white, Fiji wears white, but I think of the white ones, this one's just the least striking, but that's just for me. Uh, next, in 13, I've gone with Canada, and again, it's kind of a, a simple red design. I do like the collar, and there's some stuff going on uh, around the, the shoulder areas, but um, I'm probably partially influenced by their away jersey as well. Their away jersey is black, which is very slick. Uh, I do like the away jersey. It doesn't look all that Canadian, but... Uh, it's a very, very slick number. That's probably my inner all black uh, fan coming out. But um, yeah, Canada uh, at 13. And a similar jersey with, with Wales, I've put at 12. Again, it's a red design with a white collar. I do like the look of the fabric a wee bit better. They've kind of gone for a subtle four quarters design, maybe like a shield uh, look for Wales. So um, Under Armour generally do nice jerseys. They don't have a lot of teams that they make jerseys for, at least international teams. So uh, it is good to see them putting in a pretty nice Wales kit. The away one... Not a huge fan, but um, yeah, the, the home one's pretty good. Uh, France at 11. Again, it's, uh, it's a, you've got to kind of keep it simple. Uh, it's kind of a two-tone uh, job with the slightly darker upper body and then the slightly lighter lower. They've got the new logo. I think I preferred the old French logo, but that just may be me taking time to get adjusted to it. The current one kind of looks like a very arrogant chook uh but that's just what it is um yeah it's, it's a pretty nice blue jersey and i've got a fair few blue jerseys above it so i must have a thing for blue uh anyway i've gone with uh, australia at 10. now the australian design is essentially the same design as the uh as the south african one just a different color scheme obviously um i think the collar works a bit better for the australians i think the color works a bit better uh it doesn't look you know they always talk about it being green and gold looks more golden than kind of just a horrible yellow so it's a, it's a cool looking jersey the away jersey is very busy uh, a lot of people will like that some people will be put off by it but it's kind of a classic aussie design nothing nothing terrible about it and it's it's pretty sharp uh, i like it uh next is uh, georgia at nine and georgia are one of those teams with a kind of unique color it's it's maroon more than it is just a standard red so they're the only ones that wear that and i feel like the the jersey on the field looks better than the pictures the pictures just kind of, kind of looks a bit plain and it's you could argue the same as like the ireland jersey it's pretty much the same design but just something about the color i feel like looks nicer in person than than this picture so that's just me maybe i'm just a, a closet georgian fan i don't know but um yeah i just do like that that maroon color for georgia uh eight i've gone with fiji uh their jersey is white and it's kind of hard to get white or black wrong um they've gone with uh, a pretty slick design for white it's kind of sharp a wee bit sharper than the american one looks but with some kind of uh, i guess traditional fijian patterns down the sides and around the uh, around the collar uh, so the the sleeves and the away jersey's black which is very nice as well so uh the performance levels for the fijians haven't quite lived up to the jersey thus far but um yeah it's, it's a nice jersey uh next at number seven i have gone with new zealand and again it is hard to get black wrong and they initially released some promo picks for this jersey and it did kind of look like a hawaiian shirt with all the ferns that were in some of the promo picks really really prominent but the actual jersey it's a lot more subtle so it does have kind of that overlay fern design on it but it's uh it's not real in your face so again it's a black jersey it's kind of hard to get black wrong a lot of people said initially it just looks like a glorified t-shirt but i think that again that was the the fern patterns so um it's pretty cool i'm still more of a fan with the white collars but hey that's just personal preference uh, once again uh number six i've gone with england and i really think for a white jersey their jersey stands out like what can you do with it you've just got a white jersey to make and again it's that same canterbury design you could argue it's the same as georgia the same as ireland but again there's something about it just kind of strikes me i don't know what it is and their away jersey the red one i think the picture looks pretty average but on the field it looked really nice so if i was going to get an, an england jersey i may even get the away one because uh it is it is very very slick uh canterbury are probably the most prominent jersey manufacturer at the rugby world cup with uh, heaps of teams having their jerseys but uh, a wee bit of a mixture as well uh, number five i've gone with samoa uh samoa again i mean you could argue it's it's pretty similar to like namibia's one it's a, it's a 
blue jersey. It's got a little bit of red around the uh, around the sleeves. I do like the Pacific pattern and it kind of looks reminiscent of Samoan tattoos which is on the sleeve and kind of on the back of the jersey. I really think that adds just that little bit of touch like again there's not that much you can do with a national team jersey but I feel like they've done just that right balance adding a bit of something to it without really overdoing it so uh, I'm pretty happy with that Samoan jersey. The white one as the away one also looks good as well. Uh, next I've gone Scotland at four dark blue kind of again a unique I guess France sometimes go a similar color scheme, but um, yeah, that really dark navy blue for Scotland. They've got a bit of the tartan stuff going on as well, which I think, again, is a nice little touch without going overboard. Uh, the away jersey is meh, not as not as good, but that home jersey, uh, I'm really I'm really quite a fan. The one I've got from Scotland a few years old has got the purple. I think this one uh, is a wee bit nicer. Uh, number three is the one I've got on. Uh, the Uruguay jersey, it's a really nice light blue. Again, it's a blue which is a little bit different from everyone else's blue. Uh, it's got the whole sun thing going on, which is part of Uruguay's flag, which is a really nice little touch. Again, without being overboard. It's made by a company that I've never heard of in Oxbridge, and they're very hard to get hold of, but um, the white one is okay. I think it's the home jersey that really steals the show. And the fact that they performed well on this jersey against Fiji just adds to that kind of X factor. Number two, I have gone with Italy. And this one, again, pictures don't do it justice. When they ran out on the field the other day, was it against Canada? I was just looking at, I want that jersey. I want that, that blue. That's just a fine, fine looking jersey. I own an away jersey from Italy from a couple of years ago. And in terms of the feeling, it is really nice. You kind of wish the Italians played as good as their jerseys look because their jerseys are always really spot on. Their away jersey in this one is a bit, again, I don't really dig the stripes, but the home one is just class. Uh, and lastly, number one, I have gone with Argentina. Something about the Nike kits are just so, like, so sharp. Again, I don't really dig the away one that much, but the home jersey is just like classic. It just looks like you want to touch it and their collars are pretty sharp when you see the players wearing them they look they look just a card above everybody else including the italians so um yeah it'd be a pity if they go out in the group stages but there's still games to go at least as i record this video but that is a very 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 nice jersey and i can tell you because i own a um a Jaguares jersey from super rugby which was also made by nike or nike whichever one's correct and the fabric just feels the nicest of any other jerseys I own. So they make very, very good jerseys. If I can get my hands on one, I definitely will. But yeah, again, that's just my personal preference on rugby jerseys. It's what I like. You guys will like something different. But do let me know your thoughts. Which ones are your kind of favorites? Which ones do you think are a bit meh? And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later. Remember guys, if you are looking to get yourself some Rugby World Cup kit before the tournament is over, head over to England Rugby Store, the link is in the description. Uh, there's a discount code for 10% off the price you see here, so that's 2 cents 10 Enter that at the checkout for a 10% discount. They don't have all the teams here, uh, some of them have only got the alternative jerseys, but uh, there's still a few good ones. The Japan one is still around, looks like only in XL, popular jersey no doubt. Uh, the away jersey for Japan, which is the one I prefer of the two Japan jerseys just for me. Uh, a few more sizes in stock for that one. Italy, the away jersey. I think I definitely prefer the home jersey, that's just me. Um, but yep, the away jersey still is in stock. Scotland is still in stock. Uh, South Africa, uh, still there. Interesting, Australia is out of stock, whether that means... They didn't order in a lot of stock for Australia, I'm not expecting a whole lot, or whether the Aussie kit is so good it's all all been sold. Not sure on that one. Uh, all Blacks kit still in stock. Georgia, uh, if you ever fancied some some maroon Georgian gear, uh, it's there as well. Ireland, Wales, the away jersey when I checked, the home jersey uh, seemed to be sold out. Again, my preference would be the home one, but the away one is there as well. But yeah. If you guys are keen, 10% off, use the code 2, uh, 2 cents 10 And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon.